have a three millimeter tungsten gold bead with a pupa or a grub or scud type hook. Uh, this is a heavy wire or a medium wire actually. So, and then the thread we're using is just your 70 in fluorescent yellow. So we'll get that started and build up the taper. Next is it's slim rib, slim rib from a hopper wand. Uh, excellent material. I'll have if you uh, uh, want to know more about this, I'll leave his contact information. Once we get the slim rib, we're going to use clear. D rib. You want to make sure the D is on the outside. So secure that. And then once you have that secure, same with the slim. Stretch that out all the way and bring that back. Build up a taper. Doesn't need to be big because you got the uh, D rib. Okay, then what we're going to use is a chartreuse marker. We're going to take the D rib, wow, got that on there pretty tight, and we're going to highlight that D-rib with a chartreuse marker. On the very first wrap and the second and then as you start to go up you're going to loosen up that th uh, loosen up the uh, D-rib so it starts to make that segmentation the tapered once you get near the bead, tighten it and then secure, stretch it and then secure it. Stretch it and snip. What I like to do here, since I'm building another, is I like to do just a quick whip finish, just to secure that. Okay, now we're gonna take the slim rib that's also clear, and we're actually gonna use a dark olive and this is going to create the ribbing for us so we're going to grab that and then color the slim rib a dark olive once you have the color then we're going to wrap that and you want to try to get that within each each segment there we go. You can get in each segment for contrast with that chartreuse and the dark olive. And that's actually coming out darker than it normally does. That's good. Stretch that right at the end and then secure it. I like to do two behind, a couple in front, and then, oops, that one didn't grab like it normally does. So we'll get this, there we go, and that should do that. Okay, stretch and snip. And then I like again to do a little whip. Don't have to, that's all personal preference. So now we've got a nice tapered looking body segmentation. So now what we're going to use is we're going to use some UV shrimp color dubbing. 
for a hot spot and it's going to be actually just a, a little bit and I'm going to actually use a Canadian orange dubbing and combine those two. So we've got the shrimp and we have a Canadian orange blend. So we'll create that dubbing noodle. We're going to bring this back right there. Now we're going to create a dubbing loop. And in this one, we're going to use the Canadian Black for the dubbing loop. You don't need a lot, just enough to create a contrasting thorax. So let me put that right there. Get that out. Like I said, you don't need a lot. I'm not using a lot. And then I'm going to break that into two little parts and then get that in my dubbing loop and then spin those. I might want it a little more, but it might actually be just fine. We'll see. If I need a little more, then I'll, I'll dub it. And then again, like with all dubbing loops, bring back, there we go. Yeah, this one I want a little bit is I'm just going to add a little bit more on the dubbing, which is like this. A little more on the dubbing. And then I'm going to color the thread, the yellow thread, with a dark olive marker. You can do it red for another hot spot if you'd like. Works either way. But once we get this, bring those back so I don't trap those. And then if you want to use some head cement, then that's fine too. And there we go. Okay, then once we get that, you can take a dubbing brush and then just uh, use that dubbing brush to pull out some more dubbing. Longer ones. And there you go. Excellent caddis imitation. I call the critter. Uh, simply the material I use helps me to remember if I say the critter I know what material I'm using to make this caddis pupa so I hope you like it excellent pattern works well in the river works well in the lakes um, at least the lakes I have fished and the rivers I have fished uh, excellent pattern if you like what you see please subscribe for more videos and uh, Thanks for watching. Enjoy tight lines.